What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're working on my girl's 135. We got a couple more things in for it. Got a little dirty in here, but as you guys remember, the last time we put this thing on map one, we blew out the charge pipe. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the charge pipe. We're going to have to remove the intake and a couple things over here just to access the charge pipe a lot easier. But yes, we blew out the charge pipe literally only on map one, which really just comes to show how brittle these charge pipes are. And this really, it, it's definitely worth upgrading. But we're not going to stop there today. So not only are we going to have an upgraded charge pipe, you have the intakes, the cowl filters, the tune, all that good stuff. But we also got ourselves a, you know, a, a little a little intercooler, you know, to help us with cooling. It's kind of little, it's kind of big, if you know what I mean. I'm super excited for this, guys. So yes, upgraded charge pipe. This is their elite charge pipe. And then we also got a intercooler. <laughs> we are literally making this thing full bolt on. I'm super, super, super stoked. For those of you guys who are wondering where the M car is, hopefully, hopefully, as soon as you put on these couple of mods, we'll be picking up the M car pretty soon a friend of mine who owns that car is just doing a couple buttoning up on that car and I'm just trying to get the money together because it is a lot of money and you know you know it's life it's life but it's definitely gonna be an amazing build I know you guys are gonna absolutely enjoy it so that's why we're bringing it to the channel but without further ado let's go ahead and focus on what we have here the beauty this is my wife's car and uh, she can't wait for this thing to be actually running again because it's been sitting here for two weeks now, not driving, and she's getting annoyed, so let's go ahead and fix it. So what we got here, guys, is the Burger Tuning Elite Charge Pipe. So this thing is an absolute beaut, the quality of this thing, and I love the gloss black finish. It's gonna make it look super slick in the engine bay. It even has upgraded ports if you guys are gonna be running those massive power gains. As for now, we're not gonna be doing that, but for now, we do need this charge pipe because we did blow out the charge pipe that's currently in our car. But yes, with this charge pipe, you guys do get everything else you need, even the port block offs, just in case you don't need that for now. It does come with absolutely everything you guys need. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the install. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is actually remove the intake. So we're gonna have to remove this intake, remove this box. Pretty much the only two things we're gonna have to, have to remove. We might have to remove this as well, just to get more access. Um, so uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and start taking all this stuff apart. charge pipe pretty much removed we do need that sensor but if you guys look at this charge pipe it is just completely disintegrated so yeah that's just what happens even actually the sensor where it goes in look how flimsy this is guys look at the play right there like this thing literally feels like it's gonna snap in every direction even that snap like this thing was near its end of its life and uh, this car only has like 90 something thousand miles so that's just ridiculous honestly And just like that, guys, we have the new charge pipe in there. So thankfully, no more boost leaks. We are kind of missing that gasket that goes in there. I think it like flew out or something. I don't know what happened or this charge pipe never had it in the first place. I don't know, N55s are supposed to have it, right guys? Let me know down below. But anywho, this charge pipe did not have it. Thankfully, the clip fell, but it fell down there and I was able to find it and I got to put the clip back on there. So it is functional, but I might have a slight boost leak if there's supposed to be a gasket in there, which I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be one. So I'm gonna go and place an order on Burger Tuning for that gasket as well <laughs> yeah this engine bay is really coming together and now it's going to be able to hold the power but after all of this we're gonna need some proper cooling so uh let's go ahead and take out this bad boy and head over to my dad's place because we're gonna need some jack scenes we're gonna need a jack to install this big intercooler just pulled up guys no airs everything was gravy in the navy and i got my brother right here chilling like a villain what's going on bro what's going on chewing on ice <laughs> So yeah, we're getting we're getting a bunch of water because it's just so hot out here, bro. It's been like 114 degrees. Yeah, it's just re 
it's ridiculous, honestly. But anywho, we got this intercooler from Burger Tuning. This isn't the 7.5 inch. I didn't actually want the really big one this time. I had it before my N54, but you do have to do cutting and stuff like that to your front end. In this case, we're not gonna have to do that. This should be a direct replacement. It should be very easy. Just literally replace it. No drilling, no nothing. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and install the Burger Tuning intercooler. Am I looking good there? Uh, I look like a Victoria's Secret model. That's what I'm talking about. So, now that we have the intercooler side by side, as you guys can see, in terms of height, it's actually exactly the same. Pretty much the same. And that's what's cool about it. So you don't have to do any adjustments. You don't have to take off the bumper. You don't have to do any trimming. You don't even need any different hosing, clamps, or anything like that. You use the normal hardware that came with it originally. We're gonna go ahead and just take off these two things. You can go ahead and put on your old intercooler as well if you just wanted to, you know, Keep these bad boys and uh, let's go ahead and slap in the new big boy intercooler. Sheesh! Oh my god, guys, finally the intercooler is in there. We got the new charge pipe. Let's go ahead and get the car back on the ground. And now, it's time to enjoy the car. Oh my lord. Hold up guys, hold up. We got Apple CarPlay, map one, full bolt-on. God bless, guys. And we were officially back home. Shout out to the lights, honestly, because it is the middle of the night, but I mean, with the LEDs and everything, things work out. You can film literally any time of the day. Any time of the day. You know what, you're losing your mind? Me, me. Huge special shout out to Burger Tuning for making the dream happen on my wife's 135. Literally, the car drives so amazing and it holds boost and there's no issues. It traveled all the way back home. It's amazing. It looks like we're gonna have to address a few other things in my wife's car because uh, she has a massive oil leak that I found out while working on her car. It is what it is. I mean, it is an older car, probably needs all the gaskets done, so we're gonna have to order all the gaskets. I know I am teasing you guys with the new M car, but that's because, again, it's a process. I have to get everything situated on my and my friend, the owner of the M car, had to get everything situated. So in the next couple of days, hopefully we'll be picking up this dream car of mine. It is so beautiful. I am so excited. So wish me luck. Hopefully everything with this car is not going to give us bad luck like the other couple cars we've been purchasing, like the M5, the 7 Series, and, you know, a bunch of other cars we've been just getting super bad luck with. Even, honestly, the 3 Series, the 335. My track record with purchasing cars was absolutely amazing. And then literally this year, 2021, has been terrible. It is what it is. You win some, you lose some. But if you guys are excited to see the new M build, make sure to smash that like button. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button. Let me know what kind of modifications you guys would like to see on my wife's car. And let me know what you guys think the M car that we're going to get down in the description below. So, I mean, you guys are going to have to guess the color and the chassis. So guess the color and the chassis. And the, pers the first person to get it right down below that I don't know. Because a couple of people that I do know, um, I already pretty much, you know, gave them the information. So somebody that I don't know, put down what you think the color and the car is down in the description. The winner is, I might have to send them out some new merch. And actually, 
Yeah, actually, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm definitely going to be giving out some merch to those of you guys who actually guessed the right card down below. I'm actually not even going to give it to one person. I'm going to give it to every single person that guesses the color and the chassis down below. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Can't wait to read the comments. I can't wait to show you guys the new M card. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, wait, no, that's not how you properly do it. Come on, say it right. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.